What's up guys? James Bombs here. We're just checking out uh, some seeds, seeing how they're coming along here on my uh, female Trachycarpus fortunae. And this is how the seeds are looking today. It's uh, October 20th. So this is how they're looking. You get a close look at them there. It's got about six or seven flower stalks, a lot of pounds, just thousands of seeds. Not sure when I'll be able to harvest them. I don't think yet, still. I think they'll probably be ready sometime in the late winter, maybe around Christmas or so. Um, I might even leave them on the tree till the spring. If anybody watching knows if they'll still be good and viable in the spring, I'm assuming they would be if the tree doesn't drop them naturally till probably the spring or in around there, start dropping them in the winter, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm assuming they'd be fine anyways. But this is how the seed stalks are looking today. It's a beautiful day here. It's on the 20th of October, so almost the end of October, almost Halloween. It's about uh, 21, 22 Celsius and full sun. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh, there's like one little one right over there by the sun right now. But, uh, <clears throat> yep, all the plants are growing great. There's a pet now. Got some of these little royals and Christmas and Sable Cosy Arm. I put these in my closet for like a week, so that's why they got a little yellow on them here. I brought them in when it was a chance of frost and I kind of forgot they were in there. I just left them. Here's some new, bunch of new uh, Washingtonian Robusta from uh, August, so, well, late September, I guess, or September, whatever they were in the baggie on the last couple days of August. Here's all the little cluster of four, four pack of uh, Robolini. This thing's actually a lot more cold hardy than you think. I've left this outside in mostly right down to single did. It's like, it's been out in almost, it hasn't quite got a freeze but it's been pretty close so these are definitely good uh, I would say hardy to zero for sure so and uh, they're so small that I mean if you had one even this size I mean you could still protect it I think if you live in a, a more northern uh, zone and you want to try something more tropical one of these close to your house I think they're a little more cold hardy than people give it credit for but the other uh, windmill here anyways thanks for watching guys later